What's up everybody, it's me Kevin Du here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Yeah, as you can see, I also got into 3D printing now. I ordered an Anet A8 machine from 3dprintersbay.com for $195. But sadly, with Austrian Import Customs, the price got up to 270 euros. Yeah, currently I'm trying to print a bottle companion cube, which, oh uh, yeah, the camera is focusing now. So you can already see, yeah, it's nearly finished printer says no, 81% yeah but I already have three successful prints the first being a screw and nut which is working and quite nice to be honest the second being the filament holder so that the filament is not winding wildly around here and the third being a sliding lock which you can see on the image right now yeah the printer looks like it's going to finish its job. So 99% and it's about to finish now. As you can see, the printer did a very nice job here. Yeah, the companion cube is really looking nice. On the bottom there is a flat nothing. And on the top, yeah, it looks acceptable. The positive point of this printer is that it's quite cheap. It is also relatively easy to assemble, even for newcomers like me. Furthermore, you gain a lot of knowledge when assembling it and or troubleshooting, which is additional knowledge you won't gain from anywhere else in this short amount of time. There are also some negative things. The first one being I ordered it with the UU plug, the plug system you see in the background. It's the one we use here in Austria. But guess what I got? I got the Chinese 10 ampere plug. But that's not the biggest issue because I found the spare cable with, with plug on it and just used this for installation, as you can see here. But there were also some more critical issues. The first one was that the two C axis motors, here's the left one and here's the right one, were wired differently. Meaning, that if turned on, they would have rotated in different directions, which is not good at all. But luckily, when installing the plugs for the motors, I realized that they look different because of the arrangement of the wires. But guess what? I just took out the soldering iron and fixed it. Another issue is the C-axis minimum switch, which you can see right here. The problem is, that if lowering to the c-axis it activates the switch but won't deactivate it and if lowering again it will deactivate it and then try to activate again let's demonstrate it just going into menu gonna in the quick settings and say home all take a close look at the c-axis x y now the C-axis. Stop. Switch activated, but the switch isn't deactivated. And so, we have quite an offset for, uh, for a few, two or three millimeters here. So if I say home all, again, take a look what it does. X, Y, see, it deactivated the switch and tries to activate it again. And now we are at level. The problem with this is that the first time I didn't know about this. And guess what? I rammed the bed. Another issue was the fan which is mounted on side of the extruder to keep material from melting inside it. This is this one here. The original fan got destroyed because um, it is mounted with this and this screw which were turned too hard and so the case broke. The old fan is currently anywhere in the recycle bin and I found this as a replacement. This 12 volt fan is less noisy than the old one and generates a higher airflow. If you're wondering why they are not rotating, that's because I don't want to have this background noise while recording. The biggest issue of all was that there was just no material extruding. And this was because the spring, which is located under this screw here, 
was just not pressing hard enough on the incoming filament to the gear wheel and so the filament slipped. And when taking the extruder apart I found out that there are just normal M4 nuts such as this one used to set the distance for the spring. And so I added another M4 nut and the spring generates a lot more pressure and now our filament is extruding as you have already seen before. All in all I like this printer but I would recommend it only to people that are at least as interested in the printer itself than in just printing with it. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.